Well, you've done a wonderful job of connecting people through art digitally. So I thank you so much, Sarah Morgan. Director, thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Director of the Art Museum of South Texas. Sarah, thanks for talking with me on the phone. I hope to see you in person really soon. I look forward to that. <laughs> wow. So if you're mm-hmm. a film buff or you just like films, this is the place to go. Absolutely. And all the films this year are absolutely fantastic. I'm in love with every single one of them. Um, I cannot pick a favorite. <laughs> oh, come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> the goal is to fill the barrel. Now, yes. I, I will warn you, last year we had two barrels, and they were chock full. They were. How do you get them out of here when they're full? Well, we use a dolly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and an elf, right? Yes. <laughs> in elf school, we learn how to put things in the barrel, so there's always room for more. So, yes. Thank See, you. I didn't realize you had to go to school for that, but okay. Oh, yeah. We don't use just any elf. <laughs> so I know you're going to have jewelry and pottery and things like that. Give us a sense of what we will be seeing at the Rockport Art Festival. Sure. It sounds like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. We look <laughs> forward to this every year. Crystal Ferris was selected by popular vote. Ah, the, the ever popular, popular vote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how can we see this wonderful art? Well, first of all, let me tell you how much I love your work. Your website is virginiavaughn.com, and you really capture the essence of rural America. I was really stunned by your work. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Hi, Crystal. How are you today? Hey, how are you this morning? I'm doing really well. You know, HEB has been so important to KEDT, and we really, really appreciate your partnership and community involvement. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. We all kind of can hopefully connect to. Well, that sounds very fascinating. I can't wait to see it. And it starts this Friday. It's part of National Hispanic Heritage Month. It's called Sacred American X, and it's at the Rockport Center for the Arts. And if you need more information, you can go to Rockport artcenter.com or call 361-729-5519. Again, my special guest today, sculptor Amaret Garza. Amaret, thank you so much. I'm glad to have met you on the phone and thanks for speaking with me today. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Despite everything happening in the world. Well, congratulations on your brand new music building and performance hall. My guest today has been Liz Jansen, Associate Professor of Music and Flute Performance at Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Liz, thank you so much. I appreciate talking with you today. Thank you so much. So if you're a stay-at-home mom, a working mom, or any member of the family, this Day of the Woman is for you. And it's Tuesday, October 22nd, 5.30 to 8 p.m. at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi in the University Center Ballroom. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you so much to my very special guest, Letitia Bahuyo, Associate Professor of Art Sculpture at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. Letitia, I look forward to seeing you in person sometime for our next pledge drive. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Kathy. Dr. David Portnoy is an Associate Professor of Marine Biology at Texas A&M University in Corpus Christi. He will be featured in the documentary Monster Under the Bridge on the Discovery Channel tomorrow evening at 7. Dr. Portnoy explains how this all came about. I got a call from a Discovery Channel. This year's Better Business Bureau Texas Professional Women's Conference includes a lot of cities in Texas. But this year, there's one city that's new to the event. So this is the first time that we're partnering with Beaumont right front and center. That was Carol J. Stewart, Director of Development and Membership Relations with the Rockport Center for the Arts. For KEDT News, I'm Kathy Edwards. Gonzalez added that schools are doing everything possible to keep everyone safe, but they don't always have enough resources. Gonzalez says there are some older teachers that are choosing to retire, but most will return to the classroom this fall. Well, there are a couple other people that retired. The New Normal Rockport is a $150,000 grant program for artists connected with the Rockport area, generously donated by the Bass family. The Bass family has strong ties to Rockport. School lunch heroes. That's Deborah Metter, Director, Office of Food Services for CCISD. For KEDT Radio News, I'm Kathy Edwards. Salem says if you're interested in obtaining a COVID supply bag, you need to remain in your vehicle and leave your trunk open. We're trying to do contactless delivery. The Corpus Christi ISD is asking students grades four and up, as well as staff and parents, their opinion on recent school closures due to the coronavirus. Director of Communications Leanne Libby explains. Yes, so our school year, as you know, has just ended. Very telling and educating. This year's Republican convention will be virtual from Charlotte, North Carolina, and KEDT will be bringing you gavel-to-gavel coverage this evening through Thursday evening on KEDT.
EDT-TV and 90.3 FM in Corpus Christi and 90.7 FM in Victoria. For KEDT News, I'm Kathy Edwards.